I literally, I have no idea where I just died from. Where was this guy? I, l I looked at him. Where was he? All right, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 for no actual reason in particular. The concept is pretty simple. As you can see up there, I really haven't played this game at all. So I thought I'd hop over here and give sniping a bit of a try. The reason for this game in particular is one, obviously I haven't played it very much, but I've also been told by a lot of people that out of all the jetpack CODs, this one was the best and had the best sniping. And this might sound crazy to some of you, but I've actually had a few people tell me that this was the best game out of all of the CODs that I missed, which is everything from Advanced Warfare through Black Ops 4. So yeah, that's really it. Nothing too special. I'm just going to hop in and we found a game already. That's amazing. And yeah, we're just going to give sniping a try. And real quick while we're loading in here, if you do enjoy this video, definitely be sure to leave a like. I'm debating doing more multi-COD content on the channel instead of just Black Ops Cold War and all that good stuff. So if you guys enjoy this type of stuff, definitely let me know. And of course, if you're new and you haven't yet, then definitely be sure to subscribe. Now, the other reason that I wound up choosing this game, aside from all the positives that I just mentioned, is that I imagine the sniping on this game is probably really difficult. Both due to the fact that this is one of the games where they removed aim assist from the snipers entirely, I'm pretty sure. But you got people jumping around and sliding with jetpacks and shit, so I can't imagine I'm gonna be doing too good. The one piece of advice that I did get on this was that you're supposed to turn your sensitivity down, but I've actually done that, and it honestly just feels really awkward. I'm so fucking, yeah, all right, I gotta turn the sense up. I thought that an eight would be high enough. Maybe I need to go 10? That feels a little bit better. Dude, not having aim assist makes these long shots fucking impossible. Holy shit. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. Oh, hey, look, the lobby didn't end. Isn't that great? I mean, I kind of predicted this, but I imagine this is gonna be almost the same thing as when I played Black Ops 4, which is, I imagine I probably could have been good at this game if I'd like given it a chance and actually like put the time into it. But obviously at this point, I'm not gonna fucking bother. It's just like, it feels like it wouldn't be that hard. You know what I mean? The hell's going on with that guy? Another thing that I did want to say about this game, and I think I commented on this when I played this on the channel last time for like the very first time or whatever. For an almost six-year-old game, this thing actually looks pretty fucking good. I've always kind of had a preference towards Infinity Ward games as far as, like, gameplay. I leaned more towards, like, COD 4, Modern Warfare 3, versus, like, the Black Ops series, just in terms of gameplay style. But I will say, I definitely like the look of Treyarch games better pretty much across the board. The exception being World at War, actually. Because all the Infinity Ward games, they feel like they have almost, like, a film grain on them. Like, they look really washed out. And I guess that's kind of the point, because they're supposed to be, like, gritty and realistic, whereas Treyarch's always had these, like, colorful and vibrant camos and stuff. But anyway, yeah, I mean, this game looks really good. Actually, now, you know what? I'm gonna turn it back down to eight. My centering's gonna suffer, but I feel like every time I try and drag scope, I'm just gonna go right over him if I keep it that high. Why? That's your spawn, dude. What are you doing? Who? What? I'm gonna assume that that was like a noob and he just didn't know where he should be looking. Ah! <laughs> Dude, it goes right over him. I can't deal with it. I've said this like a whole bunch of times. Not having aim assist while sniping like wouldn't be a problem if I like actually had the time to practice with it and shit. Like that was one of the things I was saying when I was asking them to buff the snipers in Cold War. I said, just remove aim assist from the controllers and then make the snipers a little bit better. Cause like if I actually sat down, loaded into a game versus bots and just sat there like doing target practice for a couple hours, I guarantee I'd have the shot down easy. It's just obviously having not done that, I'm not gonna be able to just succeed right away. You know what I mean? I swear to God, I'm gonna be messing with this sensitivity for the entire video, dude. I can't find, like, there's no happy medium, you know? At least it really doesn't feel like there is anyway. I actually do like the wall running mechanic, though. That's kind of fun. It also doesn't help that I don't know, like, any of these maps at all or anything, you know? Basically just kind of running around blind. I mean, we're winning, but I ain't exactly contributing to this. Are you serious right now, dude? That's not even real. I shouldn't have concussed. I knew I shouldn't have thrown the concussion, dude. Oh my god. Actually, this game is a great example of what I've just never understood about the whole, like, can't have overpowered snipers mentality that these devs seem to have, right? I've never understood this, but, like, the fear that they seem to have is that if they make the sniping too good, then just everybody's gonna do it, and every single game is just gonna be a sniper lobby. But, like, the sniping in this game, for all intents and purposes, seems pretty good. I mean, not having aim assist is obviously a pain in the ass, and I suck, but, like, the ADS is really fast, and the one-shot range seems pretty generous. I mean, maybe I'm just really used to Cold War, but it feels generous to me. 
So it's like, okay, these snipers have a really good one-shot range. They're really fast. How come everybody in the game is not just running around with sniper rifles? Like, I think they don't understand. It's gonna be fine. Like, no matter how good or bad the snipers are, the same people are probably gonna run around with them every game. You definitely see this in Cold War for sure. Like, I've got a zillion deaths to the Tundra, even though the Tundra is dog shit compared to most snipers from, like, older games. And the other thing is, like, having strong snipers has almost nothing to do with whether or not bad players will do well with them. Like, take Modern Warfare 2, for example. The sniping in that game is really, really easy, comparatively speaking. But you still saw terrible snipers all the time. Like, people who just, they threw on the intervention because they saw Ilkams 4 for the first time and then went into a game and went, like, 6 and 34. Like, I used to get that shit so often. I mean, granted, one of the concerns is the skill-based matchmaking, I'm sure. In fact, if I had to guess, I'd say skill-based matchmaking is probably a good bit of the reason why they feel the need to nerf the snipers because if you think about it on Black Ops Cold War I'm probably never getting into a lobby with that kid with the intervention right like the game just won't allow it to happen and I will freely admit that playing against really good snipers especially if it's like a whole bunch of them in one lobby can be an absolute pain in the ass I actually, I, I don't want to talk about it. If they ever tone back or remove the skill-based matchmaking from the newer CODs or whatever, I imagine it'll, maybe they'll use that as an excuse to make the snipers a bit better, but for right now, I guess I kind of can see how that would be a problem. I don't know, I guess it just goes back to that whole thing of them just prioritizing the protection of terrible players over the rest of us being allowed to have fun. I literally, I have no idea where I just died from. Where was this guy? I... I looked at him. Where was he? I will say, though, playing on 120 FOV on Cold War, it absolutely has me in some, like, horrible looking around habits. Because I'm so used to having that, like, extra vision that I don't check things as much as I probably ought to. What just happened? Wait, is he invisible? Wait, is that a real thing, or is this dude, like, fucking cheating? Like, does his character go invisible? Is that his thing, or is he just cheating? Oh my god, get wrecked. Yeah, I get the feeling I am not gonna be getting any good at the sniping in this game anytime soon. This whole no aim assist thing seems to be just a little bit beyond me at the moment. Uh, where am I getting shot from? Yeah, I think this Securin guy is cheating. Like, he's gotta be invisible or something, right? I literally looked right at him twice and he killed me. All right, this is it for sure. Yeah. Yeah, this dude is abs- All right, this guy's cheating. I'm leaving. Honestly, I don't even want to play anymore after that. I guess Warzone's not the only game with an issue. Apparently, this one's hacked too. Actually, that's not so much of a surprise now that I think about it. I mean, I've talked about this before. Older CODs back in the day used to get hacked almost immediately after their life cycle ended. But anyway, that was really it. The sniping on this game seems pretty fun. I'm pretty sure I could have gotten good at this if I'd actually like, put the time into it. But I mean, as you can see from the level up there, I've clearly just played this game an incredible amount so far. Though that being said, I would be willing to come back and check it out if that's what people want to see. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments. And as always, if you did enjoy this video, definitely be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to come back for more content. That's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.